Well, I've got the uh, motor mounted now, the upgraded uh, treadmill motor on my mini mill, the uh, X2 clone from Harbor Freight. So, some of the things that had to happen, uh, this is one of the larger motors. It's it's like a almost a three horsepower peak, but it's about uh, 1.75 continuous uh, duty on it. Uh, these come with a long custom shaft and it's threaded on one end uh, to adapt actually that uh, um, flywheel that's on the treadmills. So I cut that off right at the shaft uh, where the threads stop and what I discovered was that the shaft uh, that they use to machine that out of is, bare, is the bare stock shaft for a 5 8 um, shaft that it but it hasn't been turned down to 5 8 so it was roughly 0.66 uh, inches um, so I had a friend of mine who had a lathe since I didn't have one uh, he uh, put that piece in the uh, pulley that I had that so I'd already converted to the belt drive system uh, from a little machine and uh, it had two pulleys uh, on the drive but uh, when you when a when I took that opening up to 0.66 to adapt the shaft, you, you basically lose one of those uh, pulleys, but you really don't need it anyway. So um, I did go ahead and drill uh, four uh, set screws on that since there's no keyway, um, and I'm driving it off the top pulley. I do have to get another longer belt, and with that longer belt, I can flip this over if I want to run on the larger pulley. So i uh, managed to keep all of the original mounting points. Uh, only thing I had to do was add five uh, fender washers on each side to space this up to give me shaft clearance after I cut that down. Uh, you can see right there just to give enough clearance. Um, so uh, space that up. What I can do is I can loosen that, take the uh, belt off of it, and I can take this all the way off and spin it over here out of the way and I can take that pulley off and turn it over. Uh, if I wanted to uh, use the other speed, which it's going to have roughly, I think, 10,000 RPM uh, with where, what it's at now, but I haven't checked it with a uh, attack yet. Um, I've actually had to put a little counterweight on here, and it's with this pulley system, and I use that as my counterweight. Uh, originally, with the original motor, uh, I didn't really have a problem with the mill trying to slide down on me with no, uh, uh, no step motor drive on it just the friction of the uh, drive gears and everything uh, was enough to kind of hold it in place but uh, with the addition of the extra weight of the larger motor it was enough now to it became a problem to keep it from sliding down so I'll either put an air spring on here later or I don't know this is, seems to be working pretty good um, so let me go ahead and remind you of what I did on the start button so I put built the controls and put them in the uh, ammo can and there's the stop out of the original switch. Uh, so what that does is when that's open, uh, when that ammo can, let me see if I can get it where you can see it there a little better. The ammo can lever is up, that's armed. Uh, all I have to do is uh, step on it to stop it, or I can use my hand either one. It's not that hard to push, but it's handy just because when I'm sitting here on my on my stool I can just put my foot there to stop it if I need the emergency stop. So that's engaged. Um, I enclosed all the speed controls in this little box right here. So now I've got a knob on there that I can turn and we start to get speed. Runs smooth and has plenty of torque. Probably more than this little mill needs. So I've still got some things to do. Uh, I do have to put my uh, home switches on. I never did install home switches, but now that I've got a uh, mill where it's actually more useful. I'm going to go ahead and install my uh, homing switches and uh, 
get it uh, ready to do some some work and I'll make some more videos. Thanks.